I was very good in math always, but I was sort of not that interested in it. And I was like, all right, let's, I, and I thought maybe I was going to do something in astronomy or something else. And so I took a bunch of courses and I said, I'll just take one more math course in college. And, and I just got this really great teacher. And it was a teaching assistant actually for my, in my first freshman year at Cornell. And he was like, uh, he's like, well, yeah. And I had a great advisor who was this abstract algebra guy, Rosenberg. And he, he was like, and I was like really enjoying this, this math as it was taught by Americans. And then I, I said, well, you know, I studied this stuff. And he goes, Oh, terrible, terrible. The French system, just terrible. And he goes, you shouldn't be studying that stuff in high school. And I go, why were we? And he goes, well, it's just a mistake of the French system. He goes, but you'll see, you'll see that stuff gets really interesting, like in sophomore math or junior level math, you're going to love it. And he was right. I just started really loving math. And I just, you know, I got A plus, I think, in every single math course I took in college. And, and you know, and I got, you know, B in philosophy, you know what I mean? So I was sort of like, I sort of self-selected myself as, you know, and I sort of was at Cornell, I was like, okay, I'm the best in math at Cornell for sure. You know? So, so you and thought of it as a challenge, right? You put your mind to it. I'm going to be the best. I was very, you know what I was, I was, there's some people are good at sprints and some people are good at marathons, right? I happen to be just an amazing marathoner. And I, and I realized that, if you give me a problem that I can sit and I can think of for, you know, a couple weeks or a week, couple weekends, I will just sit down and I will like crank through that problem. And I will solve that problem.